They always give us a game. They always fight to the very end. Before the keeper beats the player, has the shot! Go to it, find Tammy Rowland, who turns, hits it first time! Vicky trying to get there, hits it! Oh my god! We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video, and it's another cup final, baby. Hashtag United women's team are at the home of Dagnum and Redbridge tonight because we're playing Billericay Town, Eddie. We're playing them in the Essex Cup final. Interesting fact, since we merged with the women's team, there's been three Essex County Cup finals. We've been in all three of them. We won the first one we played in against Billericay. Then we actually lost the semi-final to Billericay, but our reserves played them in the final last year, which they only lost 1-0. Almost one, yeah. And now we're playing Billericay tonight in this year's final, which tells you one thing straight away. It's a two-club county in Very terms of the so. Essex Cup. Are we going to get the trophy back tonight? That's my question. I'm going with yes, Ben. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. What are you expecting? Because obviously we've played them twice in the league already this year. And yeah. we did win both times. It's always a cagey affair, isn't it? There's a bit of needle in this one. Always has been a lot of history between the two teams. Yeah. Um, but 3-0, I think, at home. So let's hope for more of the same tonight. That's what I'm predicting. So we'll go with that one. It's obviously a cup final, one-off game. Anything can happen. You know, we saw that. We were the underdogs against Newcastle a few weeks ago. We won that one. I'd say we're the favourites tonight. So, you know, Billy Ricky will feel like they can come and cause an upset, which I think it would be if they were to win today. But I believe in our girls. It's a chance to make it a double, which would be impressive for our Ooh. first year at Tier 3. And obviously the men have got a final next week as well. So it could be a treble for the club. You know, both playing at new levels after double promotion last year to get three trophies. It's almost greedy, Eddie. It's, it's impressive, let's be honest. And hey, we've got the lanyards on tonight. It's official business. Let's hope the girls are on official business too. If we can get one more in the bag, great. If we can get two, unbelievable, Jeff. Right, should we take a look at the team that Jason Stevens is sending out to battle? In goal is Frankie Angel. In defence, at left back we have Malika Apindia. Centre back is Grace Gillard, the captain with Courtney Lumley and Hayley West is at right back. In CDM, we have Sophie Bajan. Ahead of her, we have Victoria Fronk, Gemma Baker and Macy Nichols. And then leading the line is Valentine Percy and Sammy Rowland, who is our club top goal scorer this season. On the bench, that leads Sophie Kelly, Georgia Griffin, Jade Keogh, Esme Lancaster and Kaylee Balfour. Up the tags. Remember what we are built on. We are built on work, 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 work rate or intensity of our play. That doesn't change tonight. Yeah, you must have been, that, that feeling against Newcastle when that final whistle win is unbelievable feeling, it's euphoria, right? Get addicted to it, all right? Now you want it, you want to see it again, that whistle goes to the end of the game tonight, it's still, it's going to feel magnificent, it's going to feel unbelievable, because you achieved something else again and you won another trophy. But to get that, remember what you had to do to get that feeling against Newcastle. Roles are reversed this week, right? You are the favourites, you are the Newcastle. You've already beaten these twice in the league, we know that. They are gonna come at you. They always give us a game. They always fight to the very end. But even more so, when they wanna try and knock you off your perch. National League Cup holders, they want to have that bragging rights, that local bragging rights, Essex Cup champions. They're, they're defending champions, whether we like it or not. You have got to apply yourself in the same way that you did against Newcastle. You have got to match their energy, their enthusiasm. You know, this could be our fourth trophy in three years. That's what we want. That's what we want. We're in a good position. We know how to win games. But again, don't take this for granted. All right? Do not take this for granted. Get yourselves ready for this. And let's bring our trophy back home again. Because this is one trophy we do pride ourselves on. All right? So let's go and bring it back home. Let's go. Come on. Here we go then. Billy Ricky Town get us underway in the all red strip. Both teams wearing their away kit. Tonight, hashtag, of course, in the uh, white, claret and blue. We're underway at Dagwin and Redbridge. Malika, here comes Macy now with the fast feet. Gets it to Leeks. Leeks, not quite right of a pass. A lot of people missing. Slipping again, though. Yeah, yeah, losing their footing all over the pitch. Kick back, though, by Macy Nichols. And Macy here we go, Spen. Again, West Ham player. They play their home games here. She looks to feed in Percy, who plays it across to Frunch. And it's 1-0! And it's the Polish wonder kid with the goal hashtag in the lead and on top in the county cup final yeah you love to see it initially Malika slipping but found its way through and a lovely bit of link up there between Valentine Percy and Victoria Franck the two newest additions to this team and she finishes with absolute aplomb Victoria Franck there a fantastic finish and hashtag lead just six minutes into this one Sven. Yeah. 
<laughs> so hashtag in the lead. As things stand, it will be a double for the ladies. She's going to put it in. Scored a cracking goal in the final two years ago. Oh, we can have a chance here. Zeus in the box. And Percy gets there first before the keeper. Beats the player. Has the shot. Oh, oh my word. Oh, woo -wa. It's a goal and assist for Valentine Percy already. Not even 10 minutes in. I spent. That was absolutely stanch station. Right into the top corner. The very top corner. What a finish. She nicked it off of Alex Baker's fingertips. Managed to turn, created space and finished into the top corner. And just eight minutes into this one, we're already two goals to the good. What a start. Bit of time here. Don't want to give Gemma time. She will punish you. She finds Malika here. Can she pick out a cross? Serious whippage on that. It's going to fall for Victoria. <laughs> Sophie Badgenick will get across all day long here. Can she cross from here herself? She goes for Valentine, who tries to help it onto Macy. It will fall for Malika. Does she shoot from here? She has a go. I've seen worse strikes. Not a bad effort at all there from Malika. From a bit of an angle. Peter Ricky looking to turn here with Leanne Bell. Dispossessed in the middle, though, by Macy Nichols. There's a ball on for Sammy Rowland. And it's really clever from Valentine Percy to leave it for our top goal scorer, who's unable to add another goal to a tally there. That is a very, very smart save down to Alex Baker's right there. Oh, pass back into middle was a risky one and Sophie Bajant's there to get it back for us. She finds Gemma Baker. Love to see these stats on uh, Sophie Bajant's interceptions this season. Lovely ball from Grace as well, almost finding her woman. Here we go. Gemma, little toe to it. Finds Sammy Rowland who turns, hits it first time. It's oh. three. Oh, what a day to be a tag. Hey, I'll tell you what, we're still in this first 15 minutes or just outside actually now. 3-0 already is absolute dreamland. We've been much the better side all season between these two. And we are proving it on the pitch this evening. Unbelievable start. What a strike from Sammy, man. Sammy just doing Sammy things, man. The fireworks over there. Unbelievable. Flick oh, on. There's Nicky with the... It's fireworks oh. here tonight as well. It's 4-0. Malik has got in on the action. Oh, my word, Eddie. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Listen, we take our eyes off the action for two seconds. A throw-in comes in. Vicky, unbelievable, involved again. Nice touch. Fires it across. And you think Baker's done enough and puts it into a dangerous area, though. And Malika is there. Taps it in. And hashtag four. Bit of Ricky nil. <laughs> there was literally fireworks in the sky just above the corner flag that distracted me. I looked down. And what is happening? The ball's in the back of the net again. So slight stoppage here, uh, halfway through the first half, that goalkeeper's gone down, but chance for us to take a breath. But just don't be happy with that. We're not even a quarter of the way through the game. Okay? Enjoy. So I don't want them getting a sniff, and there's more goals for each of you. Make this a game to remember, okay? Make this a game to remember. Come on, carry on, all right? Westy with the interception, although a little bit overzealous maybe. Ruby's not slow. Ruby Seeley gets there before Frankie. There's an open goal. She can find it. She picks out a player on her team instead. And that's a goal. And they're back in it. 4-1. And that's the damage that Ruby Seeley can do on the break. Yeah, dangerous. And I think she slid it, uh, slid it across for Maddie Biggs as well. The two, two danger women combining. It's frustrating as well because it's an avoidable goal to concede. But that one makes it a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. Gives them a bit of hope, doesn't it? Still got 20 minutes left for the first half. Five goals already. It's mad. Gillard. Hooks it. Down. Leeks will chase this, to be fair. She's going to get there. Leeks cuts it back. Could be a goal. Percy. Deflected. To Macy. Hits it first time. Not her best effort. Back with Sammy. What can she do? Nice movement. Gets it to Sophie on the edge here. Billy Ricky just upped their game a little bit, haven't they? They've got a little bit more alert to it. Here's Frunch. Nice little pick out cross. No one challenging for it. Keeper eventually claims it. Corner comes in. Short. Looking for a little head. Cleared off the line there. Nearly knocked my socks off that one. Ball comes back in. Good area. Percy on the volley. Wow, that would have been spectacular. That would have been Rafinha like. Yeah, I'll tell you night. what. With a weak foot as well. Brave to go for that. I think she actually could have potentially brought that one down. No shout though. 
Goes with it, left footed first time. And doesn't quite get that perfect execution that she would have wanted. Tommy Rowland now. Back to Victoria Franck in the box. Look for Percy. Bajan puts her foot in, but it's Billericke that come through. Sophie won't give up on this though. She loves a challenge. Malika has got some work to do up against Ruby Seeley. There's no slouch. Offside flag goes up though. Ru Malika got there anyway, to be fair. Gillard looking for Roland. She might have beaten the offside trap here. She's got a curve of running time. She's going to get there first. Sammy Roland, as the lights come on around the stand. Gemma Baker hits it first time. She scored a massive goal in this final two years ago, but not to be on this occasion. Yeah, from a similar sort of area as well. Sammy does really well. It's a beautiful ball from Grace Gillard into the channels. Sammy cuts it across, unselfish play. And Gemma just can't quite find the target. I mean, we're all expecting that to bulge. There's half time then, and what a half it was. 4-1 to the tags. More of the same in the second half, please. And we'll be getting another trophy for our troubles. Up the tags. We both walked in here, and we said to ourselves, we should be absolutely delighted. You played the best 20 minutes of football you've ever played. You go 4-0 up in 18 minutes. And then for some reason, we started to do all the things that we don't want you to do. And you've given them a little bit of impetus. And, you know, I always said that sometimes, you know, as a team, we've got to learn to be ruthless. Don't be content with 4-1. You start being lazy, slack with your passing, poor with your decision-making. And then we give them hope. They will not give up. As you wouldn't give up if you were 4-0 down. You would look for every glimmer of hope. They've got one. Who's to say they can't get another? You should want to score more. If you're already in that game and you're in that zone and you feel like you've got the better of your player, you should want to score more. Who wants two? Who wants that hat-trick? You know? Who wants to get on the goals? Because it's out there for you. It really is. But if you go back to what you did in the first 20 minutes, this could be six, seven, eight. The football we was playing, the running off the ball, was absolutely brilliant. And they were the things that opened them up. The little passes just to keep it moving, those little push first time passes. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, all of you were fantastic. But let's go out there, come on, in that next five, 15 minutes. Don't give them that hope. It's a great night already. Let's make it a fantastic night, all right? And we are back playing with that whistle then here at Dagenham and Redbridge's ground for the second 45 tags, 4 1 to the good after that incredible first half showing. And I think Villericke have averted danger for now. Stays in though, and here is Gemma Baker inside to Vicky Franck. Lays oh, it off the V, gets it back, and finishes. Yeah, lovely. Yet again, <laughs> hashtag fast start after the whistle. 47 minutes on the clock, just less than two in this second period of 45. And it's Vicky Frong again at the double. What a finish. What a start to this second half, Stampy. I mean, I don't know where Spencer is. I think he's still in the boardroom having a cup of tea because we are 4 1 up. But what a way to start this second half, Eddie. That is lovely ticky tacker stuff. We just said in the change room we need to cut out the extra plays, get back to business. And we've just done that literally a minute into this second half. Little 1 2 there. And a lovely finish into the bottom left hand corner. Me, lovely one two, lovely one two, well done. Hayley West with a short throw and finds Sammy Look Rowland. Good strength, Good man. strength on shows, outrageous and trying to get a chance but can't quite. Hayley West though with a good tackle and hashtag still in an attacking area. Gemma Baker composed pass into Hayley West and it's Ooh. not that good across. Cleared away and Gemma Baker underneath it trying to get the ball back for hashtag. But Billericke break. Uh, no, they as far as <laughs> Mason Nichols and Sophie Bajan. Lovely football there. Oh, Sophie just unlucky. slips as we've seen happen. Still there, but she wins it back almost immediately. And here is Mason Nichols on the edge of the box. Pressing for the ball. It does fall for Valentine Ooh. Percy. And it's a good stop from Alex Baker over the bar stamps. Aye, she had to react so quickly there. Literally swivel and shoot. Didn't get the best connection on it. It kind of looped a little bit, but it could have easily caught the keeper off guard there. But she's done very well to tip it over the bar already. Gemma Baker on this corner. It goes a bit low. Still loose in the box. Valentine Percy's there. That's a handball, referee. Handball. Handball. Referee's given the penalty. <laughs> it's given there. I think it's Maddie Biggs, uh, the one of the danger women for Billericke, that's given it away. The line, oh, actually, interestingly, the referee didn't flag for it, but the linesman, the official, lineswoman, sorry, the official, 
flagged for that one. And it's Grace Gillard, Captain Fantastic, with a chance to add a sixth. Can you believe it? Grace Gillard steps up. Bottom right hand corner. Dispatches is what she does. And it's 6 1 Eddie. Grace Gillard, Captain Fantastic. The proof's in the name stamps. That's all we really need to say. Ever reliable from the spot. Makes it 6 1. I, I, wow. I am speechless. Unbelievable <laughs> honestly, scenes. The boys need not. to come to more games, boys. I did honestly. Not. What I didn't start. expect this in the slightest when we turned up today. I was thinking, okay, it's going to be a little bit cagey. But 50 minutes in, we are looking. I'm looking to my right, Eddie. I am seeing 6-1 on that scoreline. And we still have 40 minutes to play. Absolutely ridiculous. Gemma Baker gets it from Hayley. Finds Vicky. Two goals to her name already tonight. Young Polish star. Hayley. Goes to the cross, good area. That's a good flick. It's a fantastic save from Alex Baker in the Billericay goal. Yeah, that's a great cross from Hayley West. And V fought for the world. She'd They've scored. Given a goal kick. Oh, They've given ref. a goal kick. Lino, ref. are you Come sure? On. It was a fan. They've taken away a fantastic save from her. I'm actually surprised Alex Baker hasn't told him it's a corner, so she can take credit for that save. Yeah, I was just a about to say. Perfect view of it, and it was fantastic. Nichols. Oh, she could. Try and get herself into a shooting position here. She does hit it, and it's not badly hit either. Hayley, oh, that'll work. Really good use of her body there by Valentine. She finds Sammy Rowland. Looks for the one-two. These two linking up like nobody's business. Can she get a shot off on the left foot? It's another big save. I think they'll give a corner this time. Watching these two up top, it's absolutely sublime. You love to see it. Honestly, the link up is something special. Very nice layoff there from Sammy and V. Has well, if you're a Billericay fan, far too much time in the box to get work a shot off. But Alex Baker, credit to her again. Good. Comes to Vicky. Vicky's still got it. Oh, she's not put a foot wrong tonight, has she? She gets it back to Gigi on the left foot. She could cross from here. She puts it in. Percy takes it down. Dispossessed in the end. Oh. Wasteful defending. Gives it straight to Vicky. Vicky finds Macy in the box on the left foot. Is that a hand? Is that a hand from the defender there? I think it's harsh if it is from that close. I think she's eaten that one absolutely brilliantly. Denied Macy Nichols a certain goal for short. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see the replay put it that way. Westy, can she cross? Goes down the line to Esme Lancaster. Off the bench. Going to put a ball in. It's going to be headed away. Sophie just slides in. Going to get the throw in quickly. Oh, she stopped again for a player being hurt. And now she's she stopped for treatment, but she's stopped the game, but she's not got to go off. I know it's only if someone comes on, but... Was that not a foul? Stop it for our player down now. Look, she's, got, she's created a precedent now. Has she given a free kick? No, she's done a head injury, I think. I was going to say, I thought she'd given him a... Yeah, the ball, though. Penal I thought she'd given a pen. We yeah, were putting we did, it yeah. I bet that the keeper's going to hold on to the ball. Yeah. But we should have had it. Facts. How's that there, ball? Jade trying to take that one out of the sky. Got 10 minutes left here. Still time for more. Good turn here from the youngster. Look at the player pass here. It's not a bad one either for Ruby Seeley. What an assist that's going to be. And I told you, when they sub this young girl one, she has to be a player because she looks like youngest player on the pitch and she's played an unbelievable pass there I'd tell you what any player at any level will be very very happy with that assist there that is a beautiful pass absolutely onto a sixpence good and finish a, as well a good from finish Ruby Ruby Seeley, yeah. she's been involved with both Billy Ricky goals I'm not going to complain because of the score but the only thing I'll say is that should never have come because it came from the drop ball they gave to the Billy Ricky which should have been our drop ball so that whole possession shouldn't have happened but 6-2 I'm not going to be too too annoyed about that well, Eddie, as we reach the end of this match, who is your canner player of the match? There's plenty of good candidates. It's been a vintage hashtag United women's performance. But I'm going to go to the girl that got the brace, Victoria Franck. Been fantastic throughout. She's run absolute socks off as well tonight in a very impressive performance. And looks like it's going to finish 6-2 as well. We've got one and a half minutes left of injury time. Might add a little bit on extra because there was a stoppage for an injury. Still trying to play it out from the back, and they are not bad at it at times. 
But this will come straight back to us with Gillard now. Doing some kick ups. Touch from Gigi. Oh, it's a good whip. Vicky trying to get there. Hits it. Oh my God. What a goal that is. And not, it's a hat trick goal as well, by the way. Three of the best for Victoria Frank. That is sensational. Take a bow. She already won Eddie's Player of the Match award. But that's the icing on the cake. Proper player. Three goals in a cup final. Queens of Essex. You love to see it. That'll do to finish. That will do. And there is the final whistle on a very professional, convincing display from the tags who are the champions of Essex for the second time in three years and it's a double two trophies for our hashtag United women's team this season hopefully one more to come for the men as well what a final what a team this is drink it in sensational we're going to go over to our man Eddie Cooper who's on the pitch with the players now hey hey, hey gas her up gas her up man hat trick hero Vicky Frog oh my god what, never scored a hat trick? No, I haven't, no. And that last one, oh my word. I did, you, did you mean it? You can do it. <laughs> did, you, did you mean it? You know what, it doesn't matter because it's a hat trick. You meant it, you meant it. Just yeah, say I it. did, of course, of course. Of course. And a hat trick, man. Would you, would you have expected this before the game? No, not at all, not at all. The weather was beautiful. I knew we were going to win, but I didn't think it would be in that style, you know? And uh, you've not been at the club too long, but how does that one feel? No, I love this club. The girls are amazing. Everyone's just so supportive. It's just such a great community. I love the girls, like, and <laughs> oh, they're just so sweet. I just love it here. Literally, been here three months, and I feel like this is my family. So it's just amazing. Yeah, well, it wasn't really that as nerve-wracking in Newcastle, was it? Because we went uh, the first 20 minutes was a bit of a dream, really. Um, gifted them a couple goals, you know, make it a bit more interesting. But other than that, uh, couldn't really write a better, better day. Yeah, you spoke about it. Four goals up inside <laughs> 19 minutes. Was that the start? I know you guys start. Start fast, you got a reputation for it, but was that the start you were expecting? I mean, the message was we've beaten them twice already, so try and kill kill off any hope they have. Um, and I think, kind of demonstrating Newcastle game, when we went 1 0 down, we could have crumbled, but instead we came back. And to put four past, it kind of wrote the wrote the end before the 20 minutes in. So, um, yeah, I mean, we couldn't really ask for anything better than that. And uh, a double, we were talking about it with the fans. So, uh, have you or any of the girls at the club obviously been here for a while? Have you ever done a double? No, no, the first year. First year as hashtag, I think we won the cup but lost the league. Second year we won the league but lost the cup. Uh, now we've done double cup and come second in tier three, so I don't think anyone can ask for anything more. Yeah, sum up the season if you can in one word. Unbelievable. Can we have a quick word on a phenomenal game, but a phenomenal season? Yeah, that score line. That score line. Seven two. Is that, that your biggest win against Bidiriki? Oh yeah, yeah, biggest and most comprehensive. The double. Yeah, I mean, every goal that we set out this season, so... We'll, we'll walk as well, because I know you want to get in this photo. Yeah, every goal we set out this season, to get our cup back, we consider this our cup, so to get that back was great. The National League Cup was above expectation, so that's fantastic. And we said top four in the league, and we were three points away from second. So, yeah, and then if we get three wins, then we've got the highest ever points total for a second place finish. So, little goals, little goals. Little goals, but very, very impressive. Go on, get yourself in there, Jay Skillen. You continue to set records. I've never put seven past Billericay. We've got our trophy back. Second trophy this season. Where are we going? What's next? What's next? Wendell Wendell <laughs> but listen, I always say moments like this don't come around forever. We've had two and three weeks, but enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Whatever you've got to do tonight, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Do we have to know off? Oh, go on then, go on then. <laughs> oh my word, what a performance, eh? I know, I'm saying this is a re really special night. Like, doing the double, come on. And Vicky getting a hat trick just tops it off. Look at the girls, they're all so buzzing. This is what this team and this club are all about. And look at their faces. And we are the champions of Essex. Hashtag United Women. You love to see it way. <laughs> Chucks the water in, but the celebrations yet again as we are champions of the county. The Knights get much better than this. I mean, the, the way they did it is unreal, right? You can win a final, it's always good to win a final, but to win it in that style with some of the quality of the goals is really special. I think it's uh, the season's not over, but it, it puts a nice sort of 
cherry on the cake of what's been an amazing season, particularly that last goal from our hat-trick hero. And uh, second, potentially going to finish second in Tier 3 for the first time as hashtag United Women and a double cup winners. Could you have expected that at the start of the season? Honestly, no. I don't think anyone in their right mind would have expected it of, of us, you know, with the, the fact that we're new to the tier, the fact that um, the teams we played, like obviously Newcastle in the national final, um, and and the budget, the money being spent by the teams, you know, they're vastly over-delivered every year, but this year more than ever, we've really made a lot of people look around and take notice, and what a job, not just the players, the, the coaching staff as well, Jason and his whole team deserve a lot of credit because it's an amazing job they're doing. And uh, biggest team in Essex, do you reckon? Biggest club in Essex? Not my words. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Drop a like on the video if you did. Subscribe for more. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see more of the women's team. We're trying to get as much content from them to you as we can. And uh, lots more big games to come, as we know. The cup final just around the corner. So subscribe for more, and we'll see you on the next one. Until next time, up the tags. Trophies, baby. We love it.